That's actually what I listen to most, or I've listened to a lot of soul music within the last years. And I play in a, in a band that, that comes from soul music. Academy, read about in your daily note. Red Bull Music Academy, read about in your daily note. Sir? Here we are in the second decade of the 21st century, and a lot of the most interesting music is still being made by people playing very primitive instruments like electric guitars and drums. I mean, what is a drum kit? It could be a bunch of old chairs, couldn't it? Uh, um, that there's like, you know, early 80s, man. He came out to wine dance and had on some painted um, shell chops one day. Okay. I had to paint the shell chops on. So I'm like, yo, Doke, where you get them from? So he's in my, he's like, yo, where you get those from? <laughs> so I looked at him, you know what I mean? I thought his was right. I was like, yo, I painted these, man. He was like, where I painted mine too? Where you get the paint from? So we started talking. <laughs> and before I know it, I found out he rapped. He found out that, you know, that I rapped. So, you know, we start kicking it. Have some fun. Put some humor into it. And that's what I like to do. I put, I played nah, 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 in the middle of a classical piece. So just on, on, on purpose, just to, you know, Man, wow, where'd that come from? Make you think. And which is actually a beautiful thing about it. It's not perfect. Like it's not. It gives the whole thing a kind of sense of movement. Like makes it all these things to make it feel a little more like more alive. If I make like a little sequence. On the keyboard, you know, if I if I'm that good. <laughs>
You gon' take right forever You make love in the night In the back of the club, y'all In the back of the club, y'all I'm getting wavy, getting wavy, getting wavy I'm getting wavy I think the Red Bull Music Academy is, is, is amazing, man. Like they take people like me and people, people like me, you know, who don't really know what they're gonna do with the music, and they give us like this, you know, this positive feedback and it's like encouraging like environments like produce good music and not even just good music, but just to bring, they're creating like a collective of people that we can, for whoever knows, we can come together and like start creating some super group kind of shit or something. I don't know, but they're great. <laughs> just doing what you love and all that stuff. There's a lot of people here that are, I see that are really happy and they're just doing things that make them, doing what that makes them feel good or whatever. And that Brian Eno is fucking amazing. I learned that, definitely. It's a combination of Brian Eno and my mom. You know what I mean? They have nothing to do with each other. There's no like Roxy music. My mom is completely like separate fields. Having access to other musicians and seeing how they work on everything, and uh, I think that's been the best thing is just seeing how other people are creative and how they uh, work work on stuff. I and mean, seeing his live set, like, that was an invaluable thing. Was watching him working. I was like, this is how I do it. Kind of like a quick run through. I was like, that was great. Like, that's what I wanted this entire thing to be. My name is August Rosenbaum. My artist name is August Rosenbaum, too. I'm from Copenhagen, Denmark. For me, the Red Bull Music Academy has been... It's basically the, the, the best combination of an educational platform and like a super creative platform. Uh, it's really like... It's, uh, it's the greatest opportunity to make things happen and meet a lot of international collaborators and friends and just learn. I, I got enough inspiration to go on the next many years. Um, my name is Emma. Um, I'm also called Quiet Dust and I'm from Ireland. I think I could probably just say that it's been like the best two weeks of my life. It's like indescribable, unbelievable. It's, it's been so amazing. Uh, my name is Rafiq. I'm from Germany, 
uh, but I moved to Brooklyn 11 months ago. Well, I guess like my fav one of my favorite moments is actually happening right now because we're actually managing to get some some serious music down. I'm working with uh, Astro Boys right now, and uh, it's 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 a really nice experience because um, people are coming together here who have similar tastes in music and like similar approaches to music, really or like similar in one way, really different in another way. And I've never really collaborated that much, so I'm really thankful that I got a chance to collaborate with some insane musicians that I haven't even known before that. My name is Man Mushtaq. I'm from Karachi, Pakistan. My artist name is Smax. My heroes are here and I've gotten to like chill out with them and I never thought that anything like that would ever happen. A Flying Lotus, Quartet, Thundercat. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I, I didn't get to interact with Brian Eno or Nigel Goddard at all, but just like having them here and like them like speaking to us is really an amazing experience. Well, my name is Alexandra Piric. I'm from uh, Bucharest, Romania. This is really interesting to see how there's people from Peru, from Argentina, from Romania, you know, from the States. So it's kind of a really interesting cultural mixture also. Uh, I have to say that's the part that I enjoyed somehow the most, like just being put together with all these people and having the opportunity to spend that much time together and to also to work and like to, yeah, to use this facility, which is pretty amazing. I, I mean, I have to admit, I, I can't really use like maybe 90% of the hardware and the gear that is here, but I'm learning, like I learned stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it was really, really interesting experience, very enjoyable. I'm Ross Tones, uh, Throwing Snow, and I've come from London. What I've got from it is unexpected stuff, actually. It's like the lectures have been great, and I've learnt lots of interesting stuff there. But I've actually learnt more from the other participants, and like their just tiny little things about their workflow or the way they do things has actually been more beneficial for me than anything else.